Hey guys, being here. Um, today, let's have a look at this interesting little project. Um, it's basically a box with the with the interesting shape of roof. Okay, and this is ground floor, and this is upper floor. So let's let's do it. So first, create a project. And draw some wall WA, and I'm going to use the 300 generic wall rectangle and the shape of the box, roughly, I guess, this. Okay, so go to 3D view and select all the wall. I'll change that all the wall to four meter high, so same as this level one. So now we can create a roof. At level one, which is okay, and uncheck the define slope because we need we will need a flat roof. Okay, so and then pick wall, tab, select, and make sure it's on the external side of the wall. Okay, attach. So now this is the roof. And then if we if you look go back to look at this side plan, so you will see these lines. So uh, which is the which are the, the ridge and valley. So we just need to add the line onto the roof. So select the roof top, go add a split line, and then roughly add them. So one, two, and three, and escape once, and then you can still you can still select the point. You can adjust them. Okay, so now let's rotate it a little bit. So and then you will be able to if you so sometimes you accidentally click too fast, click twice, escape. So you. Equip this uh, command so you can still select this roof and add modify sub element. Okay, so now you can click on this edge. So, for example, I'm going to raw, uh, raise this edge. So, I'll raise this out. You can drag this up, for example, 3.9 meter. Okay, so and then same this part, this one. So, I'm going to type in. So maybe 3.6 meter. Okay. So that's it. And yeah, maybe also, uh, also uh, let, let me just go back. Modify sub element. So because currently, so if you select this point, it says zero. Zero means uh, it's at the current uh, um, uh, roof level, which is four meter high. And also this point as well zero as well which means this is flat maybe we will need to raise this a little bit so the rainwater can come off the roof okay so now that's that's the roof <coughs> so let's go back have a look of this fold so you can see it's very thin roof so the walls cover uh, covered um, part of the roof. So what we can do is we can we can um, we can we can create a very thing. So for example, I'll create a thirty mil roof. Okay. So from yeah from from outside looks fine. But uh, in reality, you won't have a 30 mil roof itself. You will have something under that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cre create another. So I'll go to elevation. So click on the either right or left, or front or back. And then I'm going to copy this down by, uh, for example, I'm going to add another 300 mil roof. So I'm going to copy it down by 300. Now I'm going to edit type, duplicate, 
I'm going to create a 300 mil roof. Okay. <clears throat> so now, if you look at this, so this is a top roof, which is three, uh, 30 mil. This is another roof under that. So that's 300. I'll change to shade SD so you can see it. and also you can see this uh, thing so which means it's uh, they are overlapping and what I'm going to do is um, if so I'm going to show you show you uh, this so if I so if I select this lower roof and edit footprint and if I change this footprint to to the internal side of the wall and finish and you will see that the roof pitch won't match this roof so uh, I will need to manually adjust the roof so this is not very efficient so let me just go back Control Z and cancel and yes so I'll show you the easiest way so you can go modify join wall roof and go back switch join order and wall roof so this way so uh we'll use the wall to cut away the part of the roof okay so join wall roof switch order join wall oh sorry switch order wall roof join wall roof switch order and join wall roof switch order so this way you will have so if I cut a section box so so this is how so this is thin roof that's thick roof wall okay so <clears throat> so now um, I think the rest of the uh, the this project, this building is quite simple. So, so for example, if I go to ground floor, I can uh, maybe I'll just do a this wall exterior from this corner space. Uh, I think the shape should be like this, something like this, go up there, and then um, go back to. So I can just just change the base of this wall so make for example three meter from here and also this I think that uh, and sometimes when you look at this don't worry always try this first okay so try this first next 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 that's it here the same don't worry about this corner don't use any void or anything try this one first always next and next yeah that's it so and I think the rest of the this building is quite simple just add walls doors sliding doors Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.